Well, good morning. It is Wednesday, July 15th, 2020. Journal 367, T plus 471, uh, I think. Could be, might be, perhaps. Um, this is not the post I planned on um, sharing with you this morning. Uh, however, <laughs> like many things in life, um, you have to be ready to improvise, adapt, and overcome. And when your situation, your situational awareness uh, informs you of, of something different that's going on, uh, you have to make that adjustment. In, in this particular case, it was a podcast interview that I did with a dear friend of mine, Tony Mulla, the, the vice president of industry relations for the Automotive Service Association, uh, the repair community's largest association, National Association of Automotive Repair Shop Owners. And it's a, you know, a podcast interview that we did a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, and that is just going live today. And I just, you know, I just got the announcement that it was live as of this morning. And uh, I spent a half an hour listening to the conversation. Uh, you have to appreciate the fact that Tony and I have been colleagues, friends, acquaintances um, for what appears to be a lifetime. Um, we've known each other forever. Actually, when we opened our service station in Santa Monica in the middle 60s, Tony was a musician uh, appearing at a club in the north end of Venice, the south side of Santa Monica. And uh, the statistical probability is very, very high that, that I heard him play. <laughs> I heard his band perform in that club because it's someplace I used to go. So um, th the best kind of, of interviews, and anybody that's ever had one, uh, will probably agree with me on this, is, is the interview that really isn't an interview at all. It, it's, it's what happens when you capture a conversation, you know, bi-directional communication between two old friends. And that's exactly what happened here. Um, as a matter of fact, the second publishing company that I wrote for in the industry uh, was, or the second magazine that I wrote for in the industry or was Motor Age magazine. Uh, and Tony was the editor of Motor Age at that time. He's, he was the one responsible for bringing me over. So uh, in all instances, this is really about a conversation with an old friend. So um, the things that we talked about might might interest you. Uh, you might find them enlightening because we talked about a lot of different things in the course of the the uh, the podcast. And realistically, it actually went twice as long as either of us anticipated that it would. Um, I was certain it would be edited down to about fifteen or twenty minutes at the most, and it was really about thirty minutes of conversation, and we captured. Um, You know, we talked about our current, you know, COVID reality. And, and even though the focus of our conversation was, you know, on how shop owners are coping with that, it really speaks to the heart of how we're all trying to get through it. Because uh, shop owners are no different than anybody else. They're, they're business owners that are trying to navigate, negotiate these really difficult, challenging times. Um, you know, we talked about misfire, what to do when things aren't running on all cylinders, a book that we just um, released in September and the one that, uh, that we just released the audio for beginning of the month, or actually in June, I think. But um, the audio is out there, the audible is out there. Uh, so we talked about that and in, in the role that the management series played uh, in helping shop owners across the industry uh, achieve uh, success and, you know, try and try and find a way to go ahead and, and substitute success for struggle and survival. Uh, we talked about the customer care handbook, which I'm almost done editing and revising. I'm just about ready to release uh, to a, a group of volunteer readers. And by the way, uh, I want to thank each of the people that have volunteered so far. I'm going to choose probably a dozen 
of all the people that have volunteered to take a look at the book as soon as I get done with it, uh, before we go ahead and, and do the final edit on it. I'm really excited about that. Um, we talked a lot uh, about how to transcend uh, this, the challenges that each of us face uh, as we move from survival and struggle to success and uh, how, to, how, to, how to really uh, bypass adversity if you can and how to, how to think your way through problems and challenges. Uh, I, I talked, you know, from a personal level, I talked about what m one of my greatest challenges was, and that was the failure to communicate early in my um, career, actually even late in my career, uh, and to communicate clearly and, and concisely and often. Uh, we talked about some of the chapters in Misfire, uh, like flexibility and balance, um, impact versus force or force versus impact and what the differences are. Uh, perhaps most important, we talked about the fact that for the most part, the rules of success in business haven't changed at all um, and that there are too few people that are in business who are aware of those rules as well. And uh, we talked about the role of associations, both you know local, regional, and, and national, and what shop owners need to do to uh, reach their goals and objectives, and uh, and why one of the the most important things uh, in my professional life was the realization that I didn't sell parts and I didn't sell repairs, I didn't sell time, and I didn't sell labor. What I sold was flexibility. What I sold was freedom and mobility. What I, what I sold was the ability to get in a vehicle that you could depend on and then take that vehicle anywhere you needed to go, knowing that you could get back, you know, without a lot of excitement. So if you have a couple of minutes, I've, I've included the, uh, the link, the URL, to, uh, to the podcast. It's a, good, it's a good listen. I went ahead and I spent, you know, I spent half an hour this morning um, going over it and, and it was fascinated to hear what I had to say and I think you'll find it in, interesting as well. So uh, while that was not the post that I had planned for this morning, it is the post that you're going to get. You'll get today's post tomorrow. Um, in the meantime, stay, uh, stay well, stay safe, stay focused, stay strong, stay home, and take care.